This is the 2019 Honda Odyssey EXL with navigation and rear entertainment system package added onto the EXL. The color is Pacifica Pewter and inside the leather is called Mocha. What I wanted to show you is that in new cars, the headrest faces forward and pushes your neck forward. And so that's one of the reasons I was not looking forward to getting a new car because nobody wants to have their head pushed forward like this. This is uncomfortable. And not, not all cars have the ability to do this, but I'm assuming in all new Hondas, at least in this 2019 Honda Odyssey, I was able to lift this up and flip it around. You'll see the passenger side already has this done. So it's not pushing forward on the passenger side and I'm about to fix it again on the driver's side. Okay, so now it's flush and comfortable again, this headrest. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what car seats I have installed. This is a Kiko Next Fit Zip that's installed rear facing using the latch connectors and it was very easy to find those latch connectors and get them installed. These are leather seats and my husband has a Yukon with leather seats and we could never get as good of an install with his compared to the car I had before this with cloth seats. But even though this one has leather seats, it was very easy to get it installed quickly. I did it by myself without needing him to come push his extra weight on it. You can see it's really secure and all I did was uh, use the latch connectors to get that installed here. And then on this side, I've got a Kiko MyFit booster seat. So it's got the harness and the booster seat options. And because this child weighs more, I couldn't use the latch. So this is installed using the seat belts and the lights just went off on me. So on this side, I wanted to show you what you can do with this. The two seats over here are called magic slide seats. And this right here is the extra middle seat that can go in between these two seats here. And I have it taken out so that I can slide these two back and forth. So all you do, is grab this little lever right here and you can let it click here, 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 or all the way. So you can have captain's chairs if you want to. I have mine slid next to each other because this child is helpful and can hand things to this child. So I keep them next to each other. But you can scoot them in any way that you want to. The other one does the exact same thing and moves back and forth. If you wanted to be able to get to the third row and you did not have a car seat installed with the tether back here, I have the tether installed, so I can't flip this to show you, but it's a one-handed movement. You grab this, this scooches forward, this slides forward, and that allows somebody to easily get to the third row if you had the middle seat installed in between these two and it was difficult for someone to get back to the third row. Obviously with this scooched over to the side, someone can easily get back to the third row. In the back, I've got the two, three seats in the back lowered and there's tons and tons of room. And I used this earlier today flat so that I could change a diaper in the parking lot. I'll show you how easy it is to get them back up. These little straps right here lift up so I'm doing this one-handed. Do this thing. I'm gonna have to put the phone down for just a second. There we go. So now there's they're installed back again, and there's still a ton of room in the back. So you've got one tether back here. Because I have this someone to walk to the back without having to do that. These headrests down here lift. 
so that an adult can be safe back here also. And the last thing I wanted to show you is how the seat belts in the middle work. So there's one here for the third row. If you have the middle seat installed, there's one up here. It's really easy. Pull this down. And then you can see you've got a seat belt that comes out. Connect it to this thing that looks like a seat belt holder, but isn't. Now you've got a regular seat belt that can go across and attach in here. And then you can just leave it if you wanted to. But of course, once I lower these seats back, this would be annoying. So what you do is you take this and push it in the little silver spot. It looks like you would have a coin go in here. Let me show you where it is. This little gray line right here is where you put this buckle so that it can unattach. And this can go right back up into the ceiling. Also in the third row, you've got two cup holders and an air vent on this side. I said that the car comes with two wireless headphones. Here's an option for a wired one, and there's a volume control and a power outlet. On this side, there's also another headphone jack, an air vent, and two more um, cup holders. So I am 5'7", sitting in the middle seat, and I've actually reclined this one backward just to make this car seat, booster seat, have more room. And I have knees that touch the back. Obviously, there would be more room if I scooted over to the one that does, doesn't um, have any recline added to the seat in front of me. I think that adults could fit back here somewhat comfortably for a short trip. I still think it's a very roomy back seat. And last but not least, both sides of the back window or the middle row window come with this sunscreen right here. And the way that you can unattach it and reattach it is really easy. There's one lever and it helps you unhook on the left side and the right side. And then it slides into the window and you would probably never know it's there. This is in front of the second row. There is an HDMI port and two other ports. Let's see what they are. USB ports. Because I have the rear entertainment system, it comes with this remote control that controls it in the back. The DVD is put in in the front, so you don't have to reach over into the back to insert the DVD. And down in here, this is the console, comes with a place to plug in a USB port. And this is how Apple CarPlay works or Android option to that to where you can play anything from your phone through the speaker. So I did it with Pandora yesterday. The newer versions of this car, this is a 2019, I'm not sure about 2018, don't have vents on the ceiling anymore. They're down here on both sides and you can have the car set to where you can sync it with whatever choice you make for hot or cold or you can individually set the rear climate or if you have someone in the back who is old enough they can control their own air and heat from right here. I'm in the back again to show you what you could do if you were at the park and wanted to be able to sit into your back um, hatch. Pull this again and just lay it flat. There you go. You could pull this out to have a flat seat to sit on.